Behind the scenes, number four, we're in Israel. We're at the Western Wall. I'll give you shots from three different angles. High, maybe low and lower. I want you to see perhaps, well, it's the most sacred place to the Jews. And don't forget, we're pre preparing a video that we want to appeal to Jews and Muslims at the same time. So in the same shot, you'll see the wall, which is where the Jews won't cross to go up on the Temple Mount, or most Jews, because they believe that's where the Temple once stood, both the first and the second Temple that was destroyed. And they're, they're very conscious of desecrating the spot where the Holy of Holies once stood. So they won't go up there. The Muslims have built themselves, it's not a mosque, it's really a shrine. It's called the Dome of the Rock. And it's the third most sacred site in all Islam behind only Mecca and Medina in Saudi Arabia. We wanted footage that would be friendly to both. As I said earlier, the, the, the absolute, I mean, I've prayed to God for the inspiration that he gave Handel, for example, to be able to produce Handel's Messiah in 24 days. I've prayed for the inspiration to be able to write script that can be balanced, not favoring one over the other and appealing to them both at the same time. So what you're about to see will be worked into that script, script, I beg your pardon, shots from the Western Wall and the Dome of the Rock. and also where Elijah had a miracle and he brought back to life the son of a widow. Mount Gilboa, where King Saul has died, the mountain which David has cursed. Yeah, Mount Gilboa, let there be no rain of you upon you, no fins of offerings. How have the mighty fallen? Here we are, standing on Koresh Street, right in the town of Afula. Thank you, sir. Coming down the steps to the western wall. Well, let me turn the camera around. I'll show you what it is ahead of me. There is what it looks like. There's a crowd of people gathering at the wall. We'll turn the camera around. And here we are. Here we are, just stepping down. Over my right shoulder, you'll see the Dome of the Rock, which was built in 600 on the spot where it is believed the first and second temple stood. We're at an observation deck. I've just climbed up quite a bit uh, to get here. Now, pretty much in the center of your screen is a covered walkway. Let's see if I can zoom into it. That's where you walk. You walk up that walkway and get behind the wall, which is where the grounds of the Dome of the Rock are. There it is, the Dome of the Rock, Islam's third most sacred site.
and people come to the wall to pray at the one of the remnants of the old Temple Mount um, which King Herod played a quite a significant role in fact that the, the, the temple that was here the what they called the, well it was the second temple which was modified and made over by King Herod well I'm actually seated at the Western Wall and I'm experimenting as usual with the camera and I want you to see what I'm seeing people coming up to the wall even though night has fallen and they're praying they are praying yeah, you see how much higher than we are the wall is there are prayers written prayers that are placed in the cracks of the wall and the Orthodox Jews will not go beyond will not go beyond the wall for fear of standing on the spot where the most holy and the presence of God was. Uh, I'll go up to the wall, maybe a bit closer, but for right now I'm content to just give you a sort of bird's eye view as to what is going on. It's about maybe 7 o'clock here in Jerusalem which is the way it's pronounced. There is no J in the Hebrew tongue. We Westerners might say Jerusalem, but here it is Jerusalem. I honestly don't know what more I could say. People are here praying. Praying. I'll tilt the camera once again to give you an idea as to just how massive this wall is. Earlier on tonight, or when it was still daylight I was over there on top of that, at an observation tower that's where some of the earlier shots were taken now however we're right up against the wall that you can be as close as I am I don't want to disturb anybody at the wall itself and it's proper to keep one's voice down so that you don't disturb people who are praying and that's what I'm attempting to do so I won't go right up to the wall I've already done that on previous shows but once again just to give you a sense of the history of this place and so you can take it from David Mould signing Thank you.